Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Rich and this is Savage Supercars. So today's quite an exciting video. We've got our first proper car review. I've been trying to get this car on the channel for quite a while. So I'm going to bring into the video. This is my friend Keith. Hello guys, nice and to meet you. And this is his car. So we are driving a 2017 BMW 140i M Sport, but it's not a standard car. And now you'll see why. So I think standard production, Keith, these are about 340 brake horsepower? That's correct, yeah. 340 brake horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque from stock. And what have you actually done to this? And you've done more than one thing. You've done a few different bits, haven't you? you yeah, basically, you've got the B58 engine in it, which is now what they've put in the new Supra, um, which is also a really fantastic engine. It's a massive upgrade from the 135i N55 lump. Um, basically, as I said, they're 340 stock and 500 newton meters of torque. I've gone basically with just a complete stage one custom tune um, on a dyno and I've gained 105 brake horsepower out of a custom tune. Um, we were a little bit down on uh, newton meters of torque from stock. Um, we were down at uh, 460 newton meters. But then after the tune, we actually went up to 540 newton meters of torque. Um, a couple of weeks after that, I then decided to have the gearbox flashed. Uh, with BMWs, you can have what's called an XHP flash tool, which is a software that you basically plug via the OBD port into the uh, car, which then retunes the gearbox and it releases all the torque out of the gearbox, gives you quicker shifts. Um, obviously, ideally, you need it with the map um, because obviously, when you're generating more power, the standard box cannot obviously keep up with it um, basically that's been done it gives you a few extra features um, gives you rev max so every time you downshift on the manual mode it automatically revs up um, gives you the icon on the dash um, to tell you what gear you're in no matter what mode you're in as well um, also really really talking now on uh, launch control launch control is just absolutely fantastic um, apart from the tuning wise um, other modifications all over the exhaust because this yes. does not sound like a standard car you're not actually in the camera Keith if you come slightly forward that's well, better there yeah basically um, as of the exhaust um, we are technically still running a stock system but all I've done is I've done a few tweaks to the stock system. So we've done two resonators on there, which have been both cut and removed and three and a half inch pipes welded in place. Um, also the stock back box has been opened up and obviously the internals inside have been modified and it sounds a hell of a lot better over stock. They're so strangled from stock, uh, it's unbelievable. Um, next on the agenda is gonna be a decap. Um, so then obviously I'll be looking at stage two, um, which will then, with another retune, will obviously take me up to around 480 brake horsepower. Um, for a car of the cost and etc. of this vehicle for the one series is just absolutely fantastic for the quality that you get of the car. Well, I was going to ask that question because, you know, I'm a huge fan of the M2 competition. You know, um, I think it's a phenomenal car, 415 brake, but you're looking at sort of 50-ish K. Now, I know this is 2017, but this car was what, 24 grand? 24? I, I actually picked this up on uh, 24 and a half thousand with 14 and a half thousand miles on the clock. And what do you think you've spent on it in total? Um, in total, I mean, for talking sakes, the, the remap and the uh, XHP flash tool for the uh, paddle shift gearbox has cost me 700 pounds. Um, which, to bear in mind, if you go and buy an M4 and then you put one of these up against an M4 that's mapped, this will outdo an M4, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. You know, for, the, for the, the price difference between the two vehicles, you're, you're best off for your money getting an M140i, having a retune, and you're pushing more power than a stock M4. And you're saving money. And yeah, and you're saving massive money. And it's an everyday vehicle that you can use the 140, whereas the M4, technically, you, you can if you've got a deep pocket. <laughs> Obviously, it's not ideal using an M4 everyday car, but with the M140, it's perfect. Now, while Keith's been talking there, I've just been gingerly coming through town, but we get onto the open roads a little bit now. This car, 
is exactly what Savage Supercars is all about. Yeah, we spoke about it before. You know, your 200, your 300,000 pound supercar, hypercar type cars are amazing. If you're a petrol head, you know, you want a Ferrari or an Aston Martin or a Lamborghini, but most of us can't afford it. I certainly can't afford it. Something like this will give you this massive smile on your face. The power delivery is instant. Now, when I drove it before, Keith let me drive it before he had it remapped. And when you accelerate hard, you get a very slight twitch at the back end. But it's not scary. It's not like an M4 in the wet where you think, hang on, is this, I'm going to lose this. It, it's Although it tweaks to let you know the power's there, it keeps it on the ground. Um, and the drivability of this thing is just absolutely amazing. The responsiveness of the steering, how it feels while driving is just crazy. So we're going to get on a couple of straight roads in a minute and, and you know, traffic allowing and road condition allowing we're going to open her up a little bit the sound from that box Keith is just is just unreal yeah it's it's made a massive difference um as Richard was saying about the um power delivery power delivery to the rear of the um wheels <laughs> where we said about the twitchiness sorry um basically that is down to um obviously bmw unfortunately didn't put an lsd into these cars which my personal opinion i think they should have but um at the cost of 2300 pounds supplied and fitted by bmw is quite an expensive uh, upgrade um well, when you haven't spent anything like that much at the moment yes and you've got this amazing i mean genuinely guys this is an amazing weapon so you 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 know you've spent less than a thousand pound of mods all right exactly yes so 25 25 25 and a half grand you've got an m3 m4 m2 comp beta for not the money now we all know we've all got a friend that overdoes modifications and it looks ridiculous and it's just not usable this isn't like that this is, you know, I would happily let my wife take the shopping, you know, do the school run, do the work run, whatever. It's a capable car. But when you want to have a little bit of fun, when you want to get that feel of the enjoyment of driving, the enjoyment of the reason why we're petrol heads is so that you can have a little bit of fun on that one moment on the road. This thing, uh, uh, the reason why I was giggling back then, because I put my foot down on a mini roundabout, uh, and, uh, you know, I was pretty much power sliding around the roundabout, which is just amazing. You felt in control, yes, but so much fun. No, I was so saying fun. that, yeah, you can use this as an everyday car. Um, just to put things into perspective for you, with the um, economical side of it as well, um, I actually done a long run up to Wales in the vehicle. Uh, back end of August. Uh, this was obviously before it was all mapped and tuned up and everything, but um, I was sitting at about 70, 75 mile an hour, just plodding up to Wales, and um, I was getting nearly 50, 51 to the gallon. So, and this is a three litre twin turbo straight six petrol car. And yeah, so that's that obscene. kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Richard drove this car when it was stock. Um, obviously, we all want a bit more power, as we do, being petrol heads. Um, and now we'll see he's driven it since it's been mapped. And can you tell the difference completely, Richard? I, I can't. It was an amazing car before. I would say, guys, a 135 or a 140 of this generation is an amazing car, completely stock, all right? No, no denying. But knowing you, you always want a little bit more, you know, subtly, but a little bit more. And this thing is just... Wow, this this is this is unbelievable. Uh, the smile, I can't I can't hide the smile. The power delivery is just amazing. Um, the thing is, a lot of people turn around and say, "Oh, well, when you get your car mapped, it uh, reduces the life expectancy of the vehicle engine, etc." No, that's not always the case. With the B58 engine that this car has got, BMW have done a fantastic job on it. And like I said, the Japanese have put it in their new Supra. So anybody that wants to own a 140, um, it's opened the market up massively because obviously with the German side of it, they don't bring out a lot of aftermarket modifications. But obviously now the B58 is in the new um, Supra. It's in the new Z4 as well, isn't it's it? It's in the Z4, new Z4 yeah. as well, yeah. that's correct. Um, obviously it brings an eye opener because the Japanese side of it are going to bring out a lot more parts so everything that fits on that car will then technically fit on this car um, and it just it's just a lovely car I mean I've had it just over a year now and I've had my fair share of cars um, I've had a 370Z before this and this doesn't even compare to it I had a Nissan Duke Nismo before that which was uh, technically the quickest Duke in the UK at the time of uh, just under 300 brake horsepower and I mean so Richard's just pulled away from the Oh lights. my life <laughs> Jesus Christ that guys seriously that adrenaline rush is amazing wow okay yeah 
this is a serious, serious tool. Um, wow, well, I just left, a, oh, it was a lorry, we were stationary at the lights. It was a dual lane, so it was all safe to do, but wow, 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 wow. This thing pulls like nothing I've ever driven before. Um, yeah, uh, and, and guys, comfortable and practical. Uh, I'm gonna be shopping for one of these this weekend, I think, definitely. This is just amazing. The, I mean, the, yeah, wow. I feel, like you said, it's comfortable, it's got fully leather interior, um, it's got um, all the uh, heated seats, it's um, got climate control. Um, my one's got uh, adaptive suspension, um, which anybody that's gonna get a 140, I would highly recommend to get adaptive suspension, to be honest, if it's optional. Um, it really does make a difference to the vehicle. Um, yeah, I mean, it's got a decent size boot in it. There's fairly good space in the back of the vehicle. It, it is an everyday car, and for the money of it as well, you can't argue. And for a, a quick family car that you can still get your shopping in the back, what more can you want? No, I have to, guys, I've, I've had it in, in uh, auto mode, okay? Um, there are paddles, you can play with the paddles. I would run out of talent long before the car would <laughs> run out of talent. I have no doubt that the power delivery and the shift on this would be absolutely amazing. But wow, my heart's racing. This is just <laughs> so much fun to drive. You know, just having a bit of fun, which is the whole point. The reason why we started Savage Super Guys, guys, is because, you know, I would love a DBS Super Leggera or a 458 Italiano or, or whatever. You know, a Lamborghini Huracan Evo, the new one. I would. The budget doesn't allow that. This is within reach of most average people. You know, it's BMW build engineering, so we know that it's reliable, it's safe, it's gonna last. They're built to last. It's comfortable, it genuinely is. You know, I've driven some cars that have been modified and it, oh, it's a real bone shaker. Your back's killing you when you come out of it. This is really comfy. Well, just to let you into a little uh, bit of knowledge as well, going backtrack to what I said about earlier on, um, on the channel, um, that um, I was saying about when people obviously say, oh yeah, when you get your car remapped, etc., that it reduces the life expectancy. Well, actually, I found out a, a really good, useful bit of information that when BMW first produced this M140 with the B58 engine, uh, there was a documentary I was actually watching on the TV on it. And when they first run this car on the dyno, they actually made 450 horsepower. Um, they couldn't leave it at that because it actually made more power than the stock M1, uh, the M4. So obviously they had to wind it back. So that's why this car has got so much potential. So when you remap a car, there's always more that it can do. I had a, an old Mazda 6, and it was a yeah. 180 brake, and we had it remapped to 240, and the car felt better for it, I've got to be honest. But what you've done with this car, Keith, is, is genuinely, genuinely another level, I have to say. Um, it just makes it more interesting to drive. It's... Re releasing all the torque out the gearbox, releasing what the actual potential of the engine's meant to really have, you know. Um, it just makes a, a, the car drive so much better, and it's unbelievable what a difference it can make. Well, from my point of view, guys, um, thank you so much, Keith, for coming to the channel with your car. I know we've been talking about it for a while. I wanted your car on the channel. I think your car is exactly, exactly what we're talking about when it comes to the channel. I really do. I think it's exactly the sort of thing we want. Um, it's a, it's a, an everyday car that can be used, but you can tweak it a little bit without breaking the bank um, and just have loads of, I'm just reversing in a really difficult spot, guys and just have loads and loads of fun with it. Uh, I am properly, properly impressed with this car. Um, I will be looking at the market values of what they are um, because I just think they're such a good buy. It's an amazing car. We'll, we'll leave you with some shots accelerating away. Um, guys, Keith, thank you so much for coming on the channel. No we problem, do appreciate thanks it. guys for having me on the channel. Much appreciated. Guys, as always, thanks for the support and the love that we get. We really appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that notification button. We're a brand new channel. You know, we've only been operational for not even two weeks yet, and it's really going well. Keep sending the questions in. Keep sending the comments below, and uh, we'll keep putting cars like this on the channel. We've got a lot more coming ahead. This is a good benchmark first car for the channel, so I'm really, really so uh, with that, drive safe, be good, and we'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Thank you.